It's time for baseball on MLB Network. We've got baseball on the 4th of July between the Boston Red Sox and the Pittsburgh Pirates. Stepping in, Andrew Benintendi. He will lead this one off today. Sent on the ground out to second. Newman fields it cleanly. And he will whip this one over to first in time for the out. Here's the second baseman now, Dustin Pedroia. Dustin Pedroia. Line to the right side. And that's into the outfield for a one out base hit. Batting third, the left fielder, J.D. Martinez. Standing in now, J.D. Martinez. There's the fastball that gets the lower part of the zone called for a strike. This pitch is swung on and missed, and the AL's leading hitter is set down on strikes, two away. Stepping up now, Xander Bogarts, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. The 1-1. One -one. This is line to left. Frazier is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Into the box now, Kevin Newman. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The 1-1 one -one is swung on and missed, and that's strike two. Tough pitch to lay off there, but he did, and it's even up at two and two. Rounded back up the middle. Gloved by Bogarts. And there's one down now. Set to get his day started. Adam Frazier batting just a notch below 300 so far on the season. A 1 1. Smoke toward third. Devers fields it cleanly. And there are two away now. Plate, Brian Reynolds, no one aboard for him, and two gone here in the first. The 2-1. Hit in the air out to straightaway left. Martinez has a read on it, and that ends the inning. Rafael Devers head to head against Chris Archer. He's got a three for seven line. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. This one's down to third. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. Here's the first baseman now, Mitch Moreland. It was a two hit effort for him, including a home run in last night's game. The three and one pitch. And a fastball misses there, ball four. Ready now, Alex Verdugo. The right fielder, number 99, Alex Verdugo. The one two. Now a flare out to left center. In there, a base hit. Into the box, Christian Vasquez. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there, two away. Now to the plate, Hector Velasquez. Two's all over the place. Two on, two out, and of course, here in inning number two. Swung on and missed, one and two now. Hey, I know it's the pitcher at the plate, but he's going to grind it out right here. He's got a chance to help himself, and nothing's a bigger backbreaker to a team. Then watch a dive, but it's off his glove.
Ready with the one two. Got him swinging and that will end the inning. So that'll bring up Josh Bell. He was hitless in the shutout last night. A swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance. A ball that's carrying. On the warning track, he makes the catch. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And that'll bring up Colin Moran. Three two pitch. Skied into straightaway right. Verdugo waits on it. He's got it, and there are two down now. Now in the box, Gregory Polanco. Trying to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. Here, strike two as the slider hits the outside corner. Strike three called, and the inning is over. And that'll bring up the left-handed hitting Andrew Benintendi. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Hit on the ground out to short. He's got it. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Dustin Pedroia. He singled his last time up. Third inning, no score to this point. Down low, two balls and a strike. I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game. Set to deal. Here's the 3-1. Hit in the air toward the gap in right center. Reynolds is on the move for it. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. Here's J.D. Martinez looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there north of seven, eight pitch A.B.s, sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. And a backhanded try into the hole that's short, but this gets on by. The bat, number two, shortstop, Xander Bogart. At the plate now, Xander Bogarts. Line towards center field. And that's in there. Base hit. And the throw will come in quickly from center, so despite the hit and run, they won't get the extra base here. Third In now, Rafael Devers. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Martinez at second, Bogarts at first, two out in the inning. Drilled right back up the middle, and that's through into center field, base hit. Throw comes in quickly here, and that'll prevent the runner at third from testing things here. Now batting, the first baseman. Mitch Moreland. Into the box now. Mitch Moreland. And that's taken for a cold yep. strike two. A swinging bunt out in front of the plate. And they get the force at home. Whatever works as the side is retired. Digging in, Kevin Kramer looking for better results than last night when he went 0 for 4 in that one. A 1 1 misses for the second ball. Called strike that time, and it's even at 2 and 2. Hit softly down the line at first. And that's out number one. 
Into the box now. Jacob Stallings. He'll get to take his first cuts here. The 2-1 home. You know, when you haven't gotten a guy on base yet in the entire game, a three-ball count kind of feels like a little mini rally. Let's see if he can get on. Lined but speared on a hop. On to Moreland, and that's in time for the second out. So striding forward now, Chris Archer. This guy is still looking at a zero in the hit column. Now the one and one pitch. Two ball, one strike. This one's down to third. Devers gloves it. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. set for the start of the inning and next it'll be the outfielder Alex Verdugo this game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score you'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on to get him in but that hasn't been the case and a great diving effort there but it'll just tip off his glove and it's a base hit not in time and he's in there with a double now that the at the plate, Christian Vasquez, one and two to the Red Sox catcher. Looking at his lifetime numbers, Vasquez carries a batting line a little over the 260 mark. Uh, trying to pick up that outside corner, but this misses, and it's back to even at two balls and two strikes. Well, if you love pitching and defense, this has been a game for you. Are you happy with that, Dan? Oh, you have to love it. You know, Matt, we have so many of these games that are 12 to 10 and 9 to 8. It's nice to see a low-scoring pitcher's duel for once. Heading out towards shallow right, and that's going to fall for a base hit. The run comes across to score, and they jump ahead 1-0. Up next for the Red Sox. The pitcher, Hector. So now to the plate, Velasquez. Hector Velasquez. Got it back in time there, and it's two and one. Now a bunt attempt here as he gets this one down. Only plays to first, so the pitcher does his job as it's a successful sacrifice. Runner in scoring position at second with one away. And with it brings the left-handed swinging Andrew Benintendi. Two pitches fouled away. It's going to be back to some serious T work if he can't put that pitch in play right in his wheelhouse. Ready with another 2 2. Trying to nibble here and he misses to run it full now. 3 and 2. Waiting next is Dustin Pedroia. And that misses ball four. So it's first and second now with only one away. The batter number pitch striding in for Boston. Eight. Dustin Pedroia, one for two on his line so far in the game. Now the one and one pitch is looked at for ball number two. So far this season with runners in scoring position, Pedroia brings a batting line of barely over 200, so there's certainly some room for improvement there. Yeah, Matty, he's well aware of it. Runners in scoring position, that's where you need to be on your game. He's just expanded the zone entirely too much in these situations. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. Two men on, two out, and into bat next, one of the best run producers in the land, J.D. Martinez. The set, and the two and one. Drilled on the ground is short. Throw to second in time. What a play as the side is retired. Bottom of the inning now, and that'll bring in the second baseman, Kevin Newman. The 1-1 pitch. Tries to change up on him there, but it's a ball 2-1. Line drive to left. 
But he'll hardly need to move out there in left as this is hauled in for the first down. Coming to the plate now, Adam Frazier. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Yeah, Matty, and it looked like a sinker in his last A-B that got him to roll over. Kind of similar situation right here. Similar stuff on the mound. Look for them to try and get him to do exactly the same thing as his last A-B. He's got to fight to get it elevated just a little bit more. A one-and-one one count. Here's the pitch. A ball and two strikes now. Not close with the off-speed pitch taken for a ball. He's set, and the 2-2 pitch. If you're at the plate right now, you have to realize who's on deck. I guarantee you something's over the heart of the plate. You have to be aggressive in the zone right here. This one is launched. Look at this. And that one is gone on a two-strike count with two away in the inning. Stepping in now, Josh Bell. It's two balls and a strike to Josh Bell. Looks like this guy's afraid to throw the ball in the strike zone. He gave up that home run earlier in the inning. Needs to get back to being aggressive. And he misses again, ball three. Hey, he's had great command all day. Want to see how aggressive he is in the zone with a three ball count. The three one. And the sinker runs too low here as he loses him. It's ball four. So it's a runner at first with two gone. And that'll bring up Colin Moran. The 2 1 pitch. Line to the right side. And he will make the catch just shy of the track, and the inning is over. Digging in to try it again. Xander Bogarts. One for two in the ball game thus far. Slider, and that's hit on the ground towards second. Newman's got it. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. So the base is empty here with one away. And that brings up the third baseman, Rafael Devers. 1-1. Man, this guy's had their number all game long. Up, down, in and out. He's pitching very well. And he hits the corner with that one. Two and two. Really feels like he's just on cruise control out there on the mound right now. Boy, this is a tight one. You kind of get the feeling like the next team that scores is going to win this one. Frazier is going to get there as he backs up to put it away. Now, and there are two gone the now. Mid. So bases are empty here with two gone. And that'll bring up a former gold glover, the first baseman, Mitch Moreland. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. One run, seven hits, and no errors for the Red Sox to this point. And another foul ball. Good swing just a little early, and he'll see another payoff pitch. Looked like he was cheating the heater right there. A little bit too far out in front. Got to find it. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Set now for the bottom of the fifth, and that'll bring forth the veteran outfielder, Gregory Polanco. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. And he goes against the shift there as this is on the ground at the left side. And a bit of a high throw that time, but no problem over there at now first as they record the out. 44. Striding in once again, Kevin Kramer. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. The 1-2. Hits the top of the zone. He struck him out looking. Jacob Stallings will the be the next hitter. The Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. And this is pulled foul as he was way out in front there. 
You're grinding so hard at the plate right there, expecting something on the corners, and what happens? Change up, middle cut. Your eyes light up, but you're just not able to barrel it up. Hit in the air to left field, and Martinez will make the catch to retire the side. Robbie Erlin takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. Number 72. Robbie. New inning set to get underway, and that'll bring up the outfielder, Alex Verdugo. Well outside with the curveball for a ball. And he misses low here, so the count goes to three and one. Well, ball three there, and you know the Sox would love to start an inning. Hey, a leadoff walk would be a great thing right now. And the off-balance throw beats him at first, and that's a tough play. Now with the play, Christian Vasquez, a hit in two tries so far. And a wave and a miss on a ball that was way out of the strike zone. There are two away now. Stepping in, Hector Velasquez. He laid down a sacrifice bunt in his last trip. And not easy to do in today's game. High velocity, exploding breaking stuff. And the throw is in time to get him to retire the side. Eric Gonzalez is going to come off the bench as he'll be asked to lead off the bottom of inning number six. Eric. Bouncer to the left side. Throws in time, and that's out number one. Now back to the top of the lineup. Stepping in, Kevin Newman. No hits to this point. One run, just one hit, and no errors so far for the Pirates. Hit to first. Moreland is there, and he'll step on first himself for the out. Up next for the Buckos, Adam Frazier. Hit the ball pretty well in his last at-bat, but it resulted in a line-out. Yeah, Matty, it's always a little frustrating when you square one up. You hit a solid line drive like he did, and all you have to show for it is a jog back to the dugout. That can get in your head for a little while. Verdugo's got it, and with it, the inning is over. Richard Rodriguez is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 48. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. Andrew Benintendi. He's 0 for 2 with a walk thus far. Two and one now to the Boston leadoff hitter. Over at the knees, and that's the second strike. He'll be fine coming out of the bullpen in this one if he can keep the ball around the knees like that. And now the count is full for the Boston center fielder. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters, so you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. He pulls this one into right, and that's going to be a base hit. So there's the possible go-ahead run aboard to kick off the seventh. The batter number 50, second baseman, Justin. Into the box, Dustin Pedroia. Fun attempt is popped into foul ground, and he'll lunge forward to make the catch for the first out. And that'll bring up J.D. Martinez. The left fielder, J.D. Martinez. The 1-1. One -one. And it's fouled away. The one two is taken for ball two. And he tries to get him to reach for it, but it stays outside three and two. We could see the runner in motion here on a three two count with one out. There's a pretty good chance he's going to get a pitch to swing at, and if not, it's ball four anyways. 
Possible go ahead runs on first, one away. Hit back up the middle. The second for one. Relay to Bell. The double play. And that's how the inning ends. So striding in, Brian Reynolds. He went deep last time up. A 1 1. Is a sinker that misses for a ball. This is on the ground over to first. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Josh Bell. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Now the 1 and 1 pitch. Makes him swing and miss on a ball out of the zone for strike two. Lays off two and two now. Well, I'll tell you, he's not hitting over 300 by luck. He really knows the strike zone and his own strengths. That last take is a great example. Full count now. The 3 2 pitch. Here's Bogarts, the young shortstop. Throw won't be in time as he reaches it first. So with a left-handed hitter waiting, they'll go to their own left-hander out of the bullpen. To the plate now, Colin Moran. Oh, it's on the ground to second. Did he get his double play? One there. So stepping in, Gregory Polanco. It's been an 0 for 2 Polanco. effort for him to this point. Seared down the first baseline. But this will be a foul ball as that evens things at 2 and 2. That misses, and it's going to set up a big pitch now. 3 and 2. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Kyle Crick will come on in relief now as he'll make his 35th appearance of the season. Ready to begin the eighth, and that'll bring up the power hitting shortstop Xander Bogarts. The one and two pitch. Swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first down. Coming to the plate now, Rafael Devers. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Down the third baseline. But this will wind up a foul ball. Two and two. Here it comes. One out, nobody on. Three and two, the count for Rafael Devers. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Reynolds is back, and he'll get there to make the play for route number two. Striding in, Mitch Moreland. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. Two out, nobody on. Bounced on the ground and right at the shifted infielders. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Josh Taylor is on the pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 72. Now at the plate, Kevin Kramer 0 for 2 on the afternoon so far. Here it comes on one and one. You got two balls, one strike. Hey. Two 
A breaking ball swung on and missed, and he's set down for the second time this afternoon. Now batting. Now with the plate, Jacob Stallings. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. And the count will be full. Bases are empty, one man out. And he lays off, ball four. Now the potential go-ahead run is on base here. Cole Tucker will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. And he comes back with a fastball, one and two now. And you can tell he wanted to hold off, but he swings through the inside pitch anyway, and he becomes out number now two. The second baseman, Kevin Newman. Strike three, and the potential go-ahead run left on base. Nick Birdie will be on the mound to start the ninth inning, and his job will be keeping the ball game tied until the bottom half. All set to start the ninth in this one, and that brings up the outfielder, Alex Verdugo. Now the 2 1 pitch. Hey. High and deep down the left field line. And that will end up a foul ball. The 2-2 two -two one more time. Okay. You see a right-handed batter waiting next, but he could very well be pulled back as the situation dictates. Popped him up. Moran is over, and he's got it for the first out of the inning. In now, Christian Vasquez is working on a one for three thus far. One out, nobody on. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. Mm, definitely had the distance, but it winds up a foul ball. The one two. Ground ball sent back up the middle. And that's the second out. Michael Chavis will get the call to pinch hit here as we'll see what he can do with two out and the base is empty. Michael Chavis. Bases are empty here with two men out. Two and one. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. Now a ball lined to the left side, but foul. Into the windup. The 2 2 pitch. This one's outside. Quite a bit off the plate that time. Andrew Benintendi would be next. In the air now, out to right field. Polanco will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move, and that ends the inning. Ryan Brazier enters to do the pitching, and best case scenario for him is to push this one into extra innings. All set for the bottom of the ninth. And digging in is the outfielder, Adam Frazier. Here's the 1 1. This is on the ground over to first. And this will find the seam into right field, and there's your possible winning run aboard on the leadoff single. Into the box now, Brian Reynolds pulled toward right center field. Ben Intendi's got it, and there's one away. Josh Bell, the next to hit. He's got a chance to end this one and send these fans home happy if he can get a ball deep enough into the gap. Well behind that fastball, it's a swinging strike. 
had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. A great pitch there as he couldn't get extended on that one, and he's down on strikes for the second out. So it's a runner at first with two men out, and that'll bring up Colin Moran. One and one. Here it is. Fouled away. Possible winning run stands at first with two out here. Late on that one as it's fouled off to the left side. The set and the one two. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Benintendi is under it and he makes the catch for out number three. Handed hitting Andrew Benintendi stands in. He steps in off a base hit in his last at bat. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Fouled off. The next 3 2. And possibly an interesting development here. It's a leadoff walk to begin the frame in extra innings. Stepping up to the plate, Dustin Pedroia. Go ahead, run at first. Nobody out. The one and one pitch. Trying to get that go ahead run to scoring position now as he puts this one down. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. Now that is the left viewer, JD. In now, JD Martinez. Martinez. Nope. And did he go around? Yep. No, he did not. Ball two. Has to be a challenge pitch coming up here. He probably doesn't want to flirt with loading the bases. Three and one to Martinez. And the good fastball there finds the zone as the count goes full now. Three and two. Hey, it looks like this guy's going to work in the upper part of the strike zone. It'll be interesting to see if this lineup can adjust to the way he pitches. Seventh pitch of the at-bat coming up. Swing and he pops him up. Newman stay with it as he backs up and puts it away. One gone. Here's Xander Bogarts now. He went down on strikes last time up. Xander One and two to the Boston shortstop. Hard hit ball to second. Newman brings it in to second for one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And the left-handed hitting outfielder Gregory Polanco bats next. 1-1. And he fouls this one off. Look out. That one almost got away from him. 2-2 two two now. Not surprisingly here, this is on the ground to the right side. Throw to first is in time for the first down. Sliding into the box, Kevin Kramer. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, Matty, big time K last time up, and it's been a tough series for him so far. You can tell he's just not seeing the ball off this team. Let's see if he can make an adjustment right here. I love the fact that this batter continues to be aggressive, but after striking out twice already, Maybe he's got to take a step back, see the ball a little bit deeper, and be willing to work deep into the count. So he ran the fastball by him for the punch out. Kevin Kramer takes the hat trick with his third strikeout of the night. Three and two, full count. Hit hard towards center, and that's in there. So perhaps some life here with two men out. JT Riddle will be called upon here to hit with the game on the line. Number 15. And a pretty good take there on the slider down. It's ball three. Well, he really needs to make this guy swing the bat right here. He's not the type of hitter you want to dance around with. Full count now. Three and two. 
Ready with the payoff pitch. And that misses ball four. So now the potential winning run moves into scoring position where a single could end this thing. Keith Hembry trots in from the bullpen here as he inherits a tough spot with two on and two away. Possible winning runs at second with two down, however. Line to the right side. And that's in there. Base hit. And they will hold the winning run at third here. And it'll take another two-out hit to win the ball game. At the plate, Adam Frazier. Slapped hard the opposite way. That ball's down, and in comes the winning run. And they're going to walk off as winners. They've taken it here in extra innings. Well, the way things unfolded, you kind of had a sense that this thing was going to end in dramatic fashion, and that's exactly what happened. A walk-off for the win? Wow. In a close game like this, you look for that one guy who produced when it mattered most, and this is the guy. He's our tops player of the game. Well, when your one hit of the game is a home run and it ends up being a really critical one, you have to feel pretty good. It wasn't a huge day on the stat sheet, but it led his team to a win, and that's all you can hope for as a player. Pitching and defense game, 2-1 to one, the final score this afternoon. Nick Birdie claims the win out of the pen his first. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney down on the field, and the rest of our crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. Thanks for watching MLB Network. Here now is our final line score this afternoon. First for the victorious Pirates. Two runs, six hits, no errors. They left four men on base. For the Red Sox, one run on nine hits, no errors. They left 11 men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 36 minutes. Thank you. For